Welcome to another edition of the Gospel in 40 Days for Lent. I'm your host, Kennedy Hall. As I did yesterday, we're going to skip the introduction stuff. You know what I'm talking about. Click the link in the description for the Italy trip, subscribing as a Substack or YouTube member. Support the school, buy the sacred music. It's all there for you. All right, let's get into it. Luke chapter 19. And entering in, he walked through Jericho. And behold, there was a man named Zacchaeus, who was the chief of the publicans, and he was rich. And he sought to see Jesus, who he was, and he could not for the crowd, because he was low of stature. And running before, he climbed up into a sycamore tree, that he might see him, for he was to pass that way. And when Jesus was come to the place, looking up, he saw him, and said to him, Zacchaeus, make haste and come down, for this day I must abide in thy house. And he made haste and came down, and received him with joy. And when all saw it, they murmured, saying, that he was gone to be a guest with a man that was a sinner. And Zacchaeus standing said to the Lord, Behold, Lord, the half of my goods I give to the poor, and if I have wronged any man of anything, I restore him fourfold. Jesus said to him, This day is salvation come to this house, because he also is a son of Abraham. For the Son of Man is come to seek and to save that which was lost. As they were hearing these things, he added and spoke a parable, because he was nigh to Jerusalem, and because they thought that the kingdom of God should immediately be manifested. He said, therefore, A certain nobleman went into a far country to receive for himself a kingdom and to return. And calling his ten servants, he gave them ten pounds and said to them, Trade till I come. But his citizens hated him, and they sent an embassage after him, saying, We will not have this man to reign over us. And it came to pass that he returned, having received the kingdom, and he commanded his servants to be called, to whom he had given the money, that he might know how much every man had gained by trading. And the first came, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained ten pounds. And he said to him, Well done, thou good servant, because thou hast been faithful in a little, thou shalt have power over ten cities. And the second came, saying, Lord, thy pound hath gained five pounds. And he said to him, Be thou also over five cities. And another came, saying, Lord, behold, here is thy pound, which I have kept laid up in a napkin. For I feared thee, because thou art an austere man. Thou takest up which thou didst not lay down, and thou reapest that which thou didst not sow. He saith to him, Out of thy own mouth I judge thee, thou wicked servant. Thou knewest that I was an austere man, taking up what I laid not down, and reaping that which I did not sow. And why then didst thou not give my money into the bank, that at my coming I might have exacted it with usury? And he said to them that stood by, Take the pound away from him, and give it to him that hath ten pounds. And they said to him, Lord, he hath ten pounds. But I say to you, that to every one that hath shall be given, and he shall abound. And from him that hath not, even that which he hath shall be taken from him. But as for those my enemies, who would not have me reign over them, bring them hither, and kill them before me. And having said these things, he went before going up to Jerusalem. And it came to pass, when he was come nigh to Bethphage and Bethania, unto the mount called Olivet, he sent two of his disciples, saying, Go into the town which is over against you, at your entering into which ye shall find the colt of an ass tied, on which no man ever hath sitten. Loose him, and bring him hither. And if any man shall ask you, Why do you loose him? You shall say thus unto him, because the Lord hath need of his service. And they that were sent went their way, and found the colt standing, as he had said unto them. And as they were loosing the colt, the owners thereof said to them, Why loose you the colt? But they said, Because the Lord hath need of him. And they brought him to Jesus, and casting their garments on the colt, they set Jesus thereon. And as he went, they spread their clothes underneath in the way. And when he was now coming near the descent of Mount Olivet, the whole multitude of his disciples began with joy to praise God with a loud voice 
for all the mighty works they had seen, saying, Blessed be the King who cometh in the name of the Lord, peace in heaven and glory on high. And some of the Pharisees from amongst the multitude said to him, Master, rebuke thy disciples, to whom he said, I say to you, that if these shall hold their peace, the stones will cry out. And when he drew near seeing the city, he wept over it, saying, If thou also hadst known, and that in this thy day the things that are to thy peace, but now they are hidden from thy eyes. For the days shall come upon thee, and thy enemies shall cast a trench about thee, and compass thee round, and straighten thee on every side, and beat thee flat to the ground, and thy children who are in thee, and they shall not leave in thee a stone upon a stone, because thou hast not known the time of thy visitation. And entering into the temple, he began to cast out them that sold therein, and them that bought, saying to them, It is written, My house is the house of prayer, but you have made it a den of thieves. And he was teaching daily in the temple, and the chief priests and the scribes and the rulers of the people sought to destroy him. And they found not what to do to him, for all the people were very attentive to hear him. Chapter 20 And it came to pass that on one of the days as he was teaching the people in the temple and preaching the gospel, the chief priests and the scribes with the ancients met together, and spoke to him, saying, Tell us, by what authority dost thou these things? Or, Who is he that hath given thee this authority? And Jesus answering said to them, I will also ask you one thing, answer me. The baptism of John, was it from heaven or of men? But they thought within themselves, saying, If we shall say from heaven, he will say, Why then did you not believe him? But if we say of men, the whole people will stone us, for they are persuaded that John was a prophet. And they answered that they knew not whence it was. And Jesus said to them, Neither do I tell thee by what authority I do these things. And he began to speak to the people this parable, A certain man planted a vineyard, and let it out to husbandmen, and he was abroad for a long time. And at the season he sent a servant to the husbandmen, that they should give him of the fruit of the vineyard, who beating him sent him away empty. And again he sent another servant, but they beat him also, and treating him reproachfully, sent him away empty. And again he sent the third, and they wounded him also, and cast him out. Then the Lord of the vineyard said, What shall I do? I will send my beloved son. It may be, when they see him, they will reverence him. Whom when the husbandmen saw, they thought within themselves, saying, This is the heir. Let us kill him, that the inheritance may be ours. So casting him out of the vineyard, they killed him. What therefore will the Lord of the vineyard do to them? He will come and will destroy these husbandmen, and will give the vineyard to others, which they hearing said to him, God forbid. But he looking on them said, What is this then that is written, the stone which the builders rejected, the same is become the head of the corner? Whosoever shall fall upon that stone shall be bruised, and upon whomsoever it shall fall, it will grind him to powder. And the chief priests and the scribes sought to lay hands on him the same hour, but they feared the people, for they knew that he spoke this parable to them. And being upon the watch they sent spies, who should feign themselves, that they might take hold of him in his words, that they might deliver him up to the authority and power of the governor. And they asked him, saying, Master, we know that thou speakest and teachest rightly, and thou dost not respect any person, but teachest the way of God in truth. Is it lawful for us to give tribute to Caesar, or no? But he, considering their guile, said to them, Why tempt you me? Show me a penny, whose image and inscription hath it? They answering said to him, Caesar's. And he said to them, Render therefore to Caesar the things that are Caesar's, and to God the things that are God's and they could not reprehend his word before the people, and wondering at his answer, 
they held their peace. And there came to him some of the Sadducees, who deny that there is any resurrection, and they asked him, saying, Master Moses wrote unto us, If any man's brother die, having a wife, and he leave no children, that his brother should take her to wife, and raise up seed unto his brother. There were therefore seven brethren, and the first took a wife, and died without children, and the next took her to wife, and he also died childless, and the third took her, and in like manner all the seven, and they left no children, and died. Last of all, the woman died also. In the resurrection therefore, whose wife of them shall she be? For all the seven had her to wife. And Jesus said to them, The children of this world marry, and are given in marriage. But they that shall be accounted worthy of that world, and of the resurrection from the dead, shall neither be married, nor take wives. Neither can they die any more, for they are equal to the angels, and are the children of God, being the children of the resurrection. Now that the dead rise again, Moses also showed, at the bush, when he called the Lord the God of Abraham, and the God of Isaac, and the God of Jacob. For he is not the God of the dead, but of the living, for all live to him. And some of the scribes answering said to him, Master, thou hast said well. And after that they durst not ask him any more questions. But he said to them, How say they that Christ is the son of David? And David himself saith in the book of Psalms, The Lord said to my Lord, Sit thou on my right hand, till I make thy enemies thy footstool. David then calleth him Lord, and how is he his son? And in the hearing of all the people, he said to his disciples, Beware of the scribes who desire to walk in long robes and love salutations in the marketplace and the first chairs in the synagogues and the chief rooms at feasts, who devour the houses of widows, feigning long prayer. These shall receive greater damnation. This concludes another edition of the Gospel in 40 Days. I will see you tomorrow. Oh.